M0 FXB. Uh, this is the, the BridgeCom website, which has got loads of stuff that you might use for your Anytone equipment. So let's just say we've got an Anytone 878 and we haven't got the code plug in it. Uh, so go to this company, you'll see the, the address there. Click, go to the support page and click later CPS download. So click this. Um, that gets your your firmware. What else? You've also got your driver here. Um, there's videos here as well on how to update the firmware, update digital contacts. So there's loads of stuff on here that's going to help you use that Anytone 878. Uh, it's an excellent radio and. Uh, loads of fun to be had with it. So we'll just have a look at what the CoPlug CPS software looks like. It looks like this. Uh, if you've got the file saved already, then you just go to File, Open. Let's say you've saved it. You know, let's say one of these is the one you've saved. So we'll just double click that, and it just it comes on straight away. And um, and then you literally just have to set the the communication port on your computer to radio which you can find in your device manager if you go here put in device I'm on Windows 10 manager go to ports and then you'll see the one that is for you know for the Anytone and then on mine it comes up 6 when it's connected, it's not connected now so let's just say it is 6, set com and then let's just say let's just say it's this one, you click OK and then go up to here to the write data to radio which is the right hand one here click OK and it will just send everything to the radio the thing to remember is if you're using someone else's code plug just remember to double click radio ID list uh, and put in your DMR number and your call sign and then the other important one I think for most of us go to channel and if you're using someone else's they, the chances are they're going to have uh, a zone that's going to be called hotspots or hotspot so have a look see if you can find that and have a look inside it and see what channels are in it and look for the channel that's hotspot and the channel number and let's just say that channel number is number five yeah so then go to channel here go to channel number five and put in the frequency of your hotspot so if it's a jumbo spot using the pi star system have a look in that and then just make sure that the frequency is the same um, probably be on talk group 9 which is here some people they'll have say 10 frequencies of the hotspot with different talk groups so they can just turn the middle knob on the radio select the talk group they want to go to that's on the hotspot frequency and then they, they can change channels to channels the other way it can be done is if you had say a repeater so we go to zones. We've got DMR repeaters here. So one of them's called uh, GB3FI2. That's channel 124. We go to channel. Go down to 124. Quite a long list on this thing. 124. Right, 124. So on here got GB3 FI now I've got the input and the output frequency of the repeater but it's set to digital and I've told it to go to use talk group 9 if you select here 9 these are all the talk groups that I have added now the way I've added them is I've gone to talk groups here on the left and then each time you add a new one you can see that even on this very basic co-plug there are loads 
So say number 43 here, which is blank. If I double click it and I wanted to create a talk group called uh, talk group number, say, 800, which doesn't exist, but anyway, let's just say, well, who knows, it might. <laughs> like that. And then I'll, I'll call it 800 as well. Okay, then I've just added that. So now if I want to, I can go back to the channel, go to that, select contact, which is basically talk group, and I could look for 800, which should be here somewhere. Yeah, there it is there that I've just created, and I could change it to 800. You see? But commonly used on repeaters is talk group 9. And then what happens? Once you're connected to that repeater, then you can manually tell the radio to uh, to change to different talk groups. By on an any, any tone 878, you hold down the zero, type in the talk group number you want to go to. Let's just say it's 1. Select hash and then key the mic and it will take you to talk group 1 even though the code plug is said um, talk group 9 so anyway it's great fun playing around with these with these uh, any tone radios hope this helps M0FXB